Tea bank, I don't trust at all. Um, just my word of like I, I've said this already. I've said I don't know which trading pub I said it in, but I know I've said it to a fair number of people here. Don't risk your pot on something which is new and not tried and not tested. Um, so this is the problem with you know the last bull market in the DeFi pump. We had so much innovation in DeFi, and loads of people like the, the way I look at it in terms of DeFi risk is that when you're you, you're always opening yourself to risk. Okay, so let's say I've got Tau, right? So I don't know. Let's just call it S1, Stage One risk. I've only got one thing that I, I, I need to worry about in terms of risk. That's, you know, is Tau going to blow up? Okay, so that's fine. You, you take that on. Something along pops along like Tau Bank and say, hey, look, you can, you know, take out your Tau um, and, you know, give it to us and you can get a loan from this, etc. Okay, right. Okay, so now you're taking two stages of risk here. So you're, you're basically taking, you're unstaking your towel, you're plopping it over to this brand new fledgling company that you have no idea who, who is behind it. Um, have they got a track record? Is this the first company they've ever built? Is it the first crypto they've ever built? Um, and what you don't want happening is that you, you spend the last couple of years building up your pot, doing the hardcore research like we've done over the last couple of years, only for your life savings to be, you know, flitted away when this event inevitably goes bust or if it goes bust. So you've got two layers of risk here. But then what if you start looping it or you start doing some other stuff like you're farming it and you know, there's going to be all sorts of bolt on. So, um, you know, then you'd have stage three of risk. And in the previous DeFi bull cycle in 2021, I was seeing people doing the most ridiculous of things. And they were like using multiple different DeFi platforms. And when I, you know, there's one student, I can't remember his name. He's, he's not in the, in the community anymore, but we had a catch up and my mouth like hit the floor because he was like, right, I've got this pot of ETH, but you never guess what time I've done blah, 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 blah. And when I worked it out, he had like 10 layers of risk <laughs> and all it needed was just one of these, you know, 10 layers of risk to go pop and guess what it did. Um, and I think that's when the magic internet money stuff started tumbling. Um, but yeah, so for me, yes, you can do the maths and go, oh, look, what if I unstake 25% of my tower, I plop it over here and then take a loan out and then I can buy more tower and start looping it around. Yes, the ROI is going to be good or better, but so too is the risk. And personally, this, this goes back to what I said with your life planning. You know, I've worked out that I will be, you know, I can do all the, the ridiculous, stupid things I've always ever wanted to do with just a 10x from where I am now. Now, bearing in mind, I've had, this is my third bull, bull cycle, so that's why I can end up with F off money, like really F off money um, with just the 10x from here, let alone the 30x, which I think will come. Um, if you're starting out in crypto, you're probably thinking, oh, bloody hell, Sim, uh, I want more than a 10x. Jesus, I could do 10x on my own. But, but this is alpha in itself, folks. Me telling you to not be too greedy is, is good alpha. <laughs> because the way I see it is if you, let's say you had a pot of 10 grand, okay? And let's say you were given a crystal ball and you could literally see every move coming you know let, uh, uh, let's say you could just see every move coming right and if you were to completely max out your your trading for the next 18 months based on this little crystal ball let's say you know or you had like a limitless pill and you suddenly became the best trader on the planet let's just say if you had the perfect run you could turn your 10k into 10 mil okay so let's just say that is 100%, I don't know, uh, efficiency. 
But we are mere mortals, we are mere plebs, we are not going to be operating at 100% efficiency. We are not going to be growing our pot as perfectly as this robot or whatever this, this magic crystal ball could do. So you then have to be honest with yourself and go, right, where, where on this line here, where do you sit? I, you know, if this line is 0% and you still got your 10 grand in 18 months, um, are you going to be doing better than that? Well, I hope so, because I know for a fact that there's by, by the law of shitty numbers, there will be a percentage of a very small percentage of RT traders here that will end up in the negative. Um, and it will be low because the, the knowledge level here is way better than, you know, basically any, you know, cri shitty crypto group that you'll you'll find. But there will be one or two people that somehow lose it all um, doing something silly. So the, you know, as I said, like looping up too many DeFi type stuff or YOLOing into, you know, some nano project um, trying to, I don't know, trying to create the next town new, I don't, I don't know. Are you going to be operating at 50% of, of that perfect that perfect run? I don't think so. Like realistically speaking, you know, I think you're going to be operating, you know, less than 20%. Um, sorry, I always get confused with less than and greater than. So uh, greater than, so less than um, 20%. So... 20% efficiency so you know whatever that X turns out to be um, so I think for for everyone here you just got to be looking at the best what is the best risk adjusted ROI that you can get for you okay